That's it, this is Lazybolt, and welcome to today's video, guys. Welcome to another episode of Destiny for Newbies, and this is actually almost going to be for everybody that's kind of gone into Trials this weekend. One of the biggest comments and questions I got in when it comes to Trials is, how do I actually farm loot? What card should I purchase? So for those of you who might be coming back to Destiny, or if you are new to Destiny, you're going to notice that there is a difference from previous videos that you've seen that these passages now are completely different. Today, I'm going to explain to you guys how do you do them, which card you should buy and when, and how you actually farm loot in Trials of Osiris. So if all this sounds like something you're definitely interested, a like would be greatly appreciated. And let's talk about how to farm loot in Destiny and in Trials of Osiris. So for those of you who got a chance to actually hop on Trials and play this weekend, guys, you're going to notice that there was a big, big difference from Trials from the previous years. This time around, guys, we are actually able to earn reputation from Trials. And every time our reputation goes up, we're going to be able to get a Trials Ingram. This is going to unlock exclusive rewards that we're able to obtain from Trials, even if you don't go flawless. So these are actually really good incentives to keep playing the game over and over. But the question becomes is, Laser, how exactly do these actually work? All right, so let's start off with the passages, guys, so you guys can get a better idea of exactly how they work. So we have the passages of Ferocity. This is particular, just a standard passages passage, I should say, that just tracks your wins, your flawless, and your rounds won. Now, in this one, your third match win grants you a bonus win. So basically the way this works is when you get that third win, you're going to get an additional bonus win. So it's going to allow you to skip one round, okay? So basically instead of doing seven wins, you only have to do six wins. That is the passage of ferocity. Now you're able to pick this one up. If you want, it's going to cost you glimmer and legendary shards, but just keep that in mind. Make sure you guys keep in mind the wins, the flawless, and the rounds because this is all going to tie into how you actually are able to farm. The next passage we have is the Passage of Mercy. This is pretty much the same similar card. The only difference is that your loss has been forgiven. So if you lose one, you're going to be forgiven and lost, but you still have to win seven games. So, you know, you could pick up the Passage of Mercy, or you can pick up the Passage of Ferocity, either or. You know, one gives you an advantage, one the other one. The next one we have is the Passage of Wealth. This just increases your Trials Rank points from reaching three five, and seven matches wins on the ticket. This is the one I would recommend you guys pick up if you do not plan on going false and you just plan on farming. The last one we're going to be talking is this one, the Patches of Confidence. This one actually re requires you, it's going to grant bonus rewards from the Flawless Chest. This is only if you do plan on picking uh, going Flawless, so you're going to be able to get that reward when you actually do that, okay? So those are the four passages. Now, the passage I recommend picking up if you're not going flawless, is this one, and you're going to be theoretically farming. If you are planning on going flawless, you want to pick up any of these two, the Ferocity of the Mercy, you're still going to want to pay attention to this video because it's extremely important. Now, as you remember, in previous games, you I'm sorry, in previous times in Trials, after every third win, you would get a reward. After every fourth, fifth win, you would get a reward. And on the seventh win, you would actually get a reward. This time, it works a little bit different because the card does not track your losses. It only tracks your wins. And in addition to that, it also tracks if you go ahead, how many rounds you actually won. So if you pay close attention to the flavor text right here where it says, each victory at seven matches wins grants significant improved rewards. That is where people I see are having the misconception of how they're actually able to farm this. Because what I've seen a lot of people do is they'll pick up the card, they'll get the seven wins, and they go ahead and reset their card. So if you don't know how to reset your card, you're probably going to go to your quest, hover over the passage, and you right there, you reset your passage, right? A lot of people are doing that. A lot of people are resetting their passages after they get that seven win to make sure they keep their track of how many falls you get. That is the incorrect way to actually farm the Trials loot because after the seventh win, you're going to be getting improved rewards. And I'm going to give you guys a quick example here so you guys can better understand. So when I went ahead and completed my first passage, I got the Ignis Hammer. Now, this is a uh, primary and this is a hand cannon. And as you guys see right here, I got aggressive frame, killing win, and opening shots. Now, the di big difference here, as you guys are noticed, is going to give you guys these weapon perks, right? That is the one I got after my seventh win. Now, if I when I kept the card, I went ahead and got another one. But this time around, this weapon became even more dangerous because now it actually dropped with different mods. It dropped with mods in them. So that's what you want to keep track of. They're not going to give you adept weapons, but they are going to give you better stats and better rolls if you keep farming within that particular card. So once again, how exactly do you go about farming the loot in Trials? Very simple, guys. You pick up one of these passages, either you go flawless or either you don't go flawless. 
And if you plan on going flawless, make sure you guys go flawless first. And what you want to do is keep that card until you get to 20 rounds run. Once you get to 20 rounds run and you get the seven wins, you're going to want to stay on that card because the longer you stay on that card, once it has seven wins, you don't have to go flawless. The more better loot you're going to be getting as you guys are progressing through your card. So guys, if you want to farm, that is the correct way to farm. I would suggest if you're not planning to go flawless, pick up the Passage of Wealth. This is going to increase the, the trials rank points. For each three, five, and seven match, one on the ticket. So it's going to give you a nice little boost to actually increment this, which will also give you Charles Ingrams, which you could unlock and get Charles loot. And in addition to that, uh, that's going to be the best one if you're not going flawless. If you do plan on going flawless, then any of these two would be the one I recommend. Once you guys go flawless, keep that card and keep playing because the longer you play with that particular card, unless you're trying to go flawless, you know, you want to reset it, the longer you keep that card, the more better loot you're going to get. And of course, don't forget to pick up your bounties, guys, because it's going to help you quite a lot as well. And there you guys have it. That's how you go flawless in trials. And that's how you farm loot in trials. I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. If you did, do me the heat for you guys. Drop a comment, drop a like. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next video.